Welcome to another Simple Engineering Snippet. In this instructional video, we review energy and hydraulic grade lines. I hope you find it useful. Before we begin, let's review the meaning of head. Head has dimensions of length and typically is given in units of meters or feet. It represents energy per weight. Let's also review total head, which is the fluid mechanical energy expressed in head. The total head is the sum of the static pressure head, the velocity head, and the elevation head. We will see that the energy grade line represents the total head in a fluid system. The piezometric head is the sum of the static pressure head and the elevation head. We will see that the hydraulic grade line represents the piezometric head in a fluid system. Let's also review conservation of energy applied to a flowing system from an upstream location to a downstream location. Conservation of energy tells us that the total head at point 2, the downstream location, is equal to the total head at point 1 minus the head loss between points 1 and 2. Let's start with the energy grade line. The energy grade line represents the height of the total head. For frictionless flow and with no pumps or turbines, it is a horizontal line. The hydraulic grade line represents the sum of the elevation and static pressure heads. As shown, a change in diameter results in a change of the hydraulic grade line since the velocity and the corresponding velocity head changes with the diameter change. The energy grade line remains horizontal. The energy grade line differs from the hydraulic grade line by the velocity head. The difference between the hydraulic grade line and the pipe represents the static pressure head. Friction results in a decrease in both total head and piezometric head, as indicated by the negative slopes of the energy and hydraulic grade lines. Now let's consider a constant diameter pipeline with changing elevations. In this example, the hydraulic grade line is greater than the pipeline at all locations, indicating that the static pressure head is positive. Now let's consider the case with a different pipeline elevation profile. In one section, the pipeline is at a higher elevation than the hydraulic grade line, which indicates that the pressure is negative. In future instructional videos, we will cover why this is undesirable, if not outright and unacceptable design. It is always important to plot the hydraulic lay line with the pipeline. However, since the velocity head is often two to three orders of magnitude less than the piezometric head, the energy grade line may not be plotted along with the hydraulic grade line and the pipeline. In future instructional videos, we will investigate examples of how plotting the hydraulic grade line can quickly indicate a flawed design. I hope you found this instructional video useful. If so, then please like and subscribe. Thanks and have a great day.